You know, in history, Region 1 was the first inhabited by the Aborigines Negritos. Before they were pushed by the successive waves of Malay emigrants penetrated their narrow coast. They have four provinces, which are Ilocos Norte, Ilocos Sur, La Union, and Pangasinan. The culture of Ilocos. Ilocanos are known to be hardworking and frugal, hardy in the face of adversity, respect and humility in every day. Dealing smart in the Ilocano personality, they live simply concentrating on work and producity. Wala Union featuring Bagot dances, songs, and oral tradition, Ilocano folk dances, chants, and dramas. And lastly, the Pangasinan. There are many famous foods that you should try, like Pigar Pigar, Lichon Bagoong, and Puto Kalaseyo. Come on and let's take a tour. It was established in the 16th century, the best preserved during the Spanish colonial era, down here in Figan. That reflects the coming together of cultural elements from elsewhere, or in the Philippines, from China, and Europe, resulting in a unique townscape and culture that parallel in East and Southeast. Here in Vigan and its culture, it is one of the few towns that shows a European to have preserved much of its Hispanic colonial character, particularly its great street pattern and historic urban layout. Now their tradition, the Bagawen is celebrated the Longanisas Festival every January 22 in accordance with the city group of Vegan. This festival feature was one of the city's products, the very well-known Vegan Longanisas. A colorful street dancing competition along the Calle Cristologo is part of the festivities. One of the common food here in Region 1 is the Longanisa, a vegan food specialty. Longanisa is an emblematic Ilocos food. These pork sausages are the star at any Ilocana table. The sausages from vegan are the most famous and they are distinctly small and plump. The Grand Valley designated as a Region 2 is an administrative region in the Philippines, located in the northeastern section of Luzon Island. It is composed of five Philippine provinces, Matanes, Cagayan, Isabela, Nueva Vizcaya, and Quirino. It was only in 1583 that Cagayan began to be called a province through a Spanish royal decree which originally comprises the whole of northern eastern Luzon plus the island in the Balintang Channel. Delicacies mostly served in the Cagayan region include rice cakes, pinakbet, pansit, kabagan, tapang baka, ginsang agurong, tigigaraw, longganisa, pansit, patil patong, and ginataang alimasa. Cagayan was only given the title of province in 1583. According to a Spanish royal decree that included all the North East Luzon as well as the island in the Balimping Channel. Cagayan is a civilization that dates back a thousand of years. It has its own history, diversified, and rich culture. Even before the Spanish colonies arrived, its inhabitants engaged commerce and trade with the Japanese, Chinese, and other neighboring Asian countries, which foolish. The pottery and basket weaving traditions of its sites are good though. Museum, historical structure, and archaeological sites across Cagayan display the province culture. The Neolithic archaeological sites in Lana and Solana have yelled stone implants dating back 20,000 years. Rice cakes, pinakbet, pansit kabagan, tapang baka, ginisa ng agorong, tubigaraw, longganisa, pansit battle patong, and batanis ginataang alimasal are all... Hello, hello! Welcome to Region 3. So, what's in the Region 3? Region 3 comprises with the seven provinces in Central Plain of Luzon, namely Aurora, Bataan, Bulacan, Pampanga, Nueva Ecija, Tarlac, and Zambales. It is also known as the Central Luzon Region. This region produces one-third of the country's total rice production. It is also called as the Rice Granary of the Philippines. Did you know that on January 21, 1899, the first constitution of a, an independent Philippines was promulgated and it happened in Malalazulacan. Also, Tarlac Town became the seat of the Philippine government for one month in March 1899, when President Emilio Quinaldo left Bulacan to escape approaching U.S. forces. Such a wonderful history, right? Central Luzon has a very uh, diverse cultural heritage and colorful traditions owning the influence of Spanish, American, and Japanese colonizer, as well as the presence of different ethnolinguistic groups. In terms of food, they are a very rich region in terms of food production, which shows the ingredients of the recipes. This region is also where most of the rice supplies of the country come from, earning it the nickname the Rice Bowl of the Philippines.